Hello and welcome back to another review. Today we're going to be looking at Legacy Evolution Dirge. Here he is. He is one of the latest releases that came out in the Leg Legacy Evolution wave. And let's take a look at him. He is one of the cone heads, one of three. I believe they're going to be doing a Ramjet release in the future. But so far we got uh, Dirge. We look closely. He is a bluish color, almost purple. He does have purple down here. He has the purple Decepticon logo there. Unlike the other Earthrise molds, his wings are actually on his feet here instead of on his uh, backpack. For articulation, he does have very good articulation, like his arms go all the way around. This does block it a little bit if you try and do a full 360. He does have a flap here where, that allows him to bend his knee, like, like so. Uh, his wrist, he can go like that, that's for his transformation. And his head, very tight. If we turn it that way, if we turn it that way, very, very, very tight. If you play with that around too much, it's going to fall off. So, you know, like your mother warned you, if you play with it too much, it's going to fall off. It's going to fall off with this guy's head too, just like your head. So don't play with it too much. His face, on the other hand, very angry looking face. Look at him close up here. He looks like he just got the uh, bill for his car repair. And he's not happy. He's like, Why are you guys charging me this much? You just had my car for 20 minutes. That's the look he's giving. <laughs> we look up above. He does have some gold up there. It's all paint. It's not stickers. There's some gold and some red up there. See the back here. He does have the clear orange plastic here. Not too much going on in the back. More Decepticon logos here. And he looks really good. He does have the null rays. Just a very flat black color. And let's get uh, started on his transformation and see how he does. Okay, so for the transformation, you gotta take his arms, put them in like that. Now let's take off his null rays too while we're at it. Now I was actually in another YouTube's uh, live stream, I was watching another guy building some of those YOLO Park figures. And you know, I'm a, I'm a pretty new channel, I'm just starting out, so I had to ask one of the guys who has more subscribers than me, you know, what's some advice you'd give me? I think that guy gave me some bad advice. He said, don't, don't do transformations. He's like, he's bad at them, so he doesn't do them. Well, Ultrazilla, these are transformers. You got to transform them. The people want to know how they transform. Like, who in their right mind would watch a Transformers review and not want to know about the transformation, right? I know you're here to watch it. Okay, like that. That's a little tricky. So he does have this like double jointed thing here so you gotta pop that in the hole there and it just clicks in goes in like so you take the body like that like so pull it inward and then the chest just goes back in like so bend that down bend that down pretty close I like these uh He's the seeker mold. Very straightforward, very simple. Everything about it makes total sense in the way it transforms. It's not complicated. And it's actually pretty fun. Like you don't feel like you're ever gonna break anything. Unless you're Norman and you don't untab that. And you almost break it. Talking to you, Norman, calling you out. 
You don't watch these videos, you don't even know. Okay, and then we'll put his null rays back on here. Where do you guys put the null rays? Some people put them here. I like putting them under the wing, because I mean when it's a real fighter jet, all the bombs and stuff is under the wings here, right? Let's put that together. See, what do you think of this? I think this is freaking awesome. I love the coloring. I love the it's like a gold almost, can't tell. See? And then there's like the navy blue. Really a big fan of this. Okay, let's put him back into robot mode now. Take off the null rays again. Do the reverse of what we just did. It's actually pretty simple to switch him back. Open his chest. Oh, almost did the norm in here. Sorry, norm. You don't know who Norman is, I work with this guy. He's also a Transformer guy. He transforms these things once in a while too. He's actually better than me. Oh. At uh, transforming things. There we go. Open up the head. To unlock the cone head here. Let me do the one, 180. Put him back. It's all locked in there. Yeah, we're good. There's a little short arm there. Gonna open them up. There we go. Same on the other side here. Open up. He's like a double jointed elbow, so you gotta extend him here. And then Make sure, again, those are out so that he will transform. Put that there. You know, that's sacrilegious, right? Put them null rays go on the shoulder, of course. Okay, he's done. Now, what are my thoughts on this guy? I like that he has the ankle pivot. I love the colors on him. Black. Navy blue gold. Big fan of the colors. Not a fan of the tight tight head here. That could break with uh, prolonged use. Gotta watch out for that. <clears throat> These uh, wings, pretty decent color. They are a little loose here, so gotta be careful. Don't keep unpegging them over and over because uh, they will fall off if you loosen them out too much. Here looks like it's just connected by those so do not force it to go this way it will not work so make sure it only goes that way. If I was to go really nitpicky on this guy one of the flaws and it's not really a flaw because that's what they're designed is his legs. If you have a lot of figures and limited space like I do guy takes up a lot of room like if you flare it out that way he's gonna probably gonna take up the same amount of space as almost one and a half figures so you gotta put them on a 45 degree but then you also have to make sure you have that much room behind them on the daddy needs it scale out of a scale of one to ten i'm gonna give him a solid eight he is one of the best uh, releases in this wave of uh, legacy evolution I actually went and called like seven stores just to find this guy and drove, I don't know, half an hour just to get him. And is he worth it? Totally. Yeah, like I said, eight out of 10 on the daddy needs it scale. Now, again, all these figures are purchased with me and these are my own opinion, no one else. Uh, not, not sponsored, nothing being sent to me at the moment here as of making this video. So all these comments are my own and my own personal opinion. If you like these videos and you want to see more, please like, comment, subscribe. Really helps out the channel. 
and until the next one keep on collecting i mean you could be buying worse stuff than transformers right so keep that collection going thanks for watching this is your host slizzard see you on the next one